What's going on my fellow dogs and welcome to another top 10 video. Today we're going to be going back to the past and taking a look at the top 10 forgotten and probably dead Mario characters. So this will be characters that are basically haven't been seen in a decade. Uh, now how am I going to base this lip off? If they came back from a recent remake game, it will count on the list because people never count remakes. And if I'm only going to be counting Donkey Kong characters and technically maybe Yoshi and Warrior characters, I guess. That, those will count the list. Without further ado, let's -a go. Number 10, Flood from Super Mario Sunshine. Now, sure, Flood is still technically a thing in Smash Bros, but when was the last time Flood was even used in a Mario game? Mario Sunshine, and that's it. Now, he's had cameos in Smash Bros and other games, but that's pretty much it, honestly. Flood has never really been attached to Mario in other games but Sunshine. Now, it would defeat the purpose of other 3D platformers, but I feel like Flood needs to be making a comeback again. It was a pretty fun concept in Mario Sunshine, and I feel like this is another character that needs to go with Mario a little bit more. Would feel a little bit weird to just bring, like, something that squirts, Wario, uh, squirts water in some ways, but you never know. Flood needs to make a comeback, though, and not just Smash Bros. Number 9, Cammy Cooper from Paper Mario. You're probably wondering who this is. If you grew up with Paper Mario, you should probably know who this character is. He's she's made Cammy Cooper is a villain in Paper in the Paper Mario games, but only two games, and that's it. Because they didn't think of adding purple to other games with Waluigi, I guess. I don't know, but Cammy Cooper has a bit seen <coughs> since Dodge Your Door. He's she's made cameos in the in a lot of Smash games, but that's pretty much it, uh, because I guess Kamek basically replaced her, but I guess they're not really the same character anyway, so, yeah. Now, they could have replaced, um, Camila from Galaxy, but I don't think, that's probably more just a coincidence anyway, but Kami Koopa, I really wish he could come back if they make a Thousand Door remake, but I probably don't think that'll ever happen. Number 8, Koopa Kid. This has got to be one of Nintendo's most forgotten Mario characters ever. Ever since the original Mario Party, Koopa Kid has made an appearance in a lot of games, and they were both treated as father and son of Bowser, of course. But after Mario Party 7 Advance, he vanished. He has appeared in the game, game in a decade, and when was the last cameo? Mario Party The Top 100. Basically, the box art of the games. That's it. Nintendo seems to be forgetting this character, and he hasn't even been in Smash in any way. Not even as a spirit in an Ultimate. Kind of crazy that Nintendo's been forgetting this character, but... I mean, personally, I don't like this character at all, but... Oh well. I miss Koopa Kid, but it's okay. Bowser Jr. is the better one. And I really want to see one day Koopa Kid and Bowser Jr. battling one day, but... Let's be honest. Bowser Jr. is gonna win. Number 7, Ballyhoo from Mario Party 8. Now, we could have put a lot of different hosts on the list, like Twyla and Starla from Mario Party 6, and a bunch of other, and Tumble as well, which we'll get to in a bit, uh, in the list. So, But Ballyhoo is probably one of the more uh, iconic hosts of all time, only because a lot of people played Mario Party 8, and it really says that he hasn't really appeared in a lot of games. He's been in Smash Bros. as a spirit before, but I can't really remember if he's been a trophy. Probably Smash 4, but... Uh, yeah, that's only the really time the Ballyhoo's been shown. Now, we don't know who this character is, obviously, wink wink, but it's really cool to see this guy acting, you know, be basically being the host. That's pretty much it. Number 6, Kitty Kong from Donkey Kong Country 3. Let's move on. Number 5, okay, okay. Um, uh, sorry about that. Um, but if you're wondering, who the heck is this Kong? He basically appeared in Donkey Kong Country 3 to help Dixie Kong save DK and Diddy, and when did he appear? He appeared in Land 3 on the Game Boy, he appeared in Land or Country 3 on GBA. Anything else? Then just ports. Nope. That's it. He's never came back again. The only time he came back was in Smash, and that's it. He's never been in Brawl, Melee, or in any of those games at all. Probably because it's a character that everybody wants to forget about. I can't see a single person liking this Kong at all. Do you think anybody wants to see Kitty Kong come back? I just want Kitty... I think we can just safe to say that Kitty Kong is going to be staying back in the hole. Wow, that sounded really offensive. My bad. Number 5, Donkey Kong Jr. Alright, let's go to a much better Kong with Donkey Kong Jr. When, DK, when Diddy Kong was around at this time on the SNES, Diddy Kong basically replaced Jr. He was in Smash Bros. Melee as a trophy, and only in Brawl as a sticker, and never appeared in Smash 4, and he was in Smash Ultimate as a spirit. Now, although we're not 100% sure Jr. was ever actually missing, but 
go check out Game Explains 30, like, 10-minute video of Donkey Kong Jr. He's supposed to be the Mario DK grown up, but he's not because in Mar he's in Mario Tennis. It's a bit confusing, I guess. Although, if there's any Kong that deserves to come back, it's Junior. And not that annoying Kitty Kong. Just please stay in the hole. Number four, Shadow Mario from Super Mario Sunshine. I think it's safe to assume that this iconic Mario Sunshine villain is no longer with us anymore. Now, sure, this is basically Bowser Jr. disguised as Mario, but people think he's not, unless you count Mario Golf Tulsa Tour, but that doesn't mean anything. Anyway, Mario's, uh, Shadow Mario is basically the villain of Super Mario Sunshine. Well, not really the main villain, but he was basically a clone of Mario, but just blue. While he was pretty iconic in the past, it really sucks that this character had to disappear out of nowhere. He was in Smash Bros. as... In some ways, maybe a trophy in the games, I forgot. And he was also in Bowser Jr.'s Final Smash. And it's still in Bowser Jr.'s Final Smash to this day. Although, I think that's just his corpse, honestly. I hope that Shadow Mario could be coming back in the spotlight again and play a major role. Because imagine him coming back in Sunshine re Remake, or better yet, a Sunshine 2. You better make some money, Nintendo. My gosh. Number 3, Baby Wario from Yoshi's Island DS. I think we just to say that Baby Wario is going to be the one character never coming back again. I didn't even know a Baby Wario existed before making this video. He only appeared in one game, which was Yoshi's Island DS, and never appeared in Smash at all. Not even his ultimate, in a way. I guess because a greedy, annoying tyrant would be not good for younger players? I guess not. But the, the, the Baby characters have been so cool in racing and basically a bunch of spin-off games. We have Baby Mario, Baby... Luigi, Baby Peach, Baby Daisy, Baby Rosalina. Why not include this character? I'm not the big... I don't really like the baby characters personally, but Baby Wario probably would have been more interesting. Would he actually be annoying and not good for younger Isis? Tell that to the angry piano and the fish from Big Huge Island and Mario Sunshine. My god. Alright, that was a little too much, I guess. Number 2, Tumble from Mario Party 3. This has got to be one of the most underrated characters ever that to be forgotten. Tumble made his first debut in Mario Party 3 and appeared in the Mario Party game we don't talk about, and that's pretty much it. She has never been in Smash Bros. in any way whatsoever and has been one of the most forgotten characters ever for Mario Party. I gotta say, though, it's pretty sad that this character had to disappear on us like that, but man, honestly, I really wish Tumble would make an appearance because she's actually one of my favorite characters in Mario Party. At least she made a comeback in Mario Party Top 100, but that's basically it, honestly. But hey, if Tumble would make a comeback, I would be blessed with that. Before we go into the number one pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Warts from Mario Bros. 2. Now, he's made an appearance in Link's Awakening and made a stunning comeback in the remake, but that's basically it. He basically made a comeback, so you technically can't call him dead, right? Also, Twilight, Twilight and Bryla, I think that's their name for Mario Party 6 as the host. They've been fighting in that game, and that's it. I can't really think of anything else to make them come back if they're still gonna fight. Although, we did help them, at least. Also, Toe's Worth. Now, Toe's Worth has been forgotten, too, but he's appeared in the Mario Luigi remakes, and that's basically it. Hopefully, Toe's Worth will make a comeback one day. Also, I guess I didn't talk about... I feel like I forgot. Oh, yeah, Star Spirits. Now, sure, Star Spirits probably are the most... Eh, characters to be forgotten, but... Um, the Star Spirits made a major role in Paper Mario, and also in Mario Party 5. It's really weird to see them disappear like that. And last but not least are the, some of the Donkey Kong characters forgotten. That is Tiny Kong, Candy Kong, um, Lanky Kong, Chunky Kong, and I think that's it. And pretty much most of the characters from Barrel Blast, I can't really remember. So that's basically all the honorable mentions I want to mention. Because this next one is going to be forgotten. Oh, one more character. Stanley the Bugman from Donkey Kong 3. Most forgotten character, honestly. For Just why? And number one is Wanda. A Japan-only game called Mario and Wario. You're probably wondering who the heck is this fairy? Wanda is basically an antagonist of um, a, a Japan-only game, Mario and Wario, that has never been released in America. It has never been released at all. It's really weird to see these characters disappear. So this character just disappeared just for one game. He's made, I think he's, he's been in Super Smash Bros. Brawl as a sticker, but that's pretty much it, other than Ultimate as a spirit. So other than that, he's been one of the most forgotten characters, and a lot of people are wondering who the heck is, is this from. Now, don't get don't don't be confused from the um, Sprixie princesses, obviously, but it's still sad to see this character basically disappear, because the fairy does look nice, but I feel like that if this Nintendo only re releases this game, I highly doubt it, they will ever re-release this game. Oh, if you want to actually try to play Mario and Wario, it's on the SNES. Well, 
You might want to try emulating it, but I don't know. It's only available on like key on computer because you need a keyboard and mouse and all that. It's confusing. Go look at the gameplay. That's all. It was not easy ranking all these <laughs> forgotten Mario characters. But anyway, thanks for watching. I will see you next time for more. Also, Merry Christmas, by the way. Later, folks.